I guess we didn't have we wouldn't don't have time to you know people that are banged up a few we don't have time to rest them they have to you know get better in a fast process when how difficult will it be how difficult will it be switching gears after the loss yesterday oh it's we put that behind us on the way back home and we just you know we got to focus on the right on main thing what we've been preparing all off season for and you know the time has come we just got to go to work Having gone to the playoffs last year and having experience with that run, how, how much does that experience kind of benefit this year's team? Oh, it's, you know, it's the older guys that played last year, they understand, you know, what, what's at stake. And you just got to be focused and you can't make as many mistakes as you did during the regular season. And it's just you got to play perfect football if you want to, you know, compete at a national level. I'm excited. Uh, we got a chance to play them last year. Uh, it'll be a rematch this year. I believe it's at home this year. So, uh, I mean, I'm just excited. I'm ready to go out there and have some fun. How excited are you personally? You, you obviously weren't the starter for the playoff run last year, so right. this is your first chance to be the starter for a playoff run. What's that like for you? Right. Uh, it's exciting, you know, sitting behind Aramis. Last year I learned a lot of things, uh, and I watched him last year against Bethune-Cookman, and uh, I'm just excited to get the opportunity this year. What's the biggest thing this team needs to do to have a long playoff run? Uh, we we got to we got to play well in all phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, if we can do that, then I feel like we're going to have a, a long run. Well, I'm delighted to be able to play at home. We're certainly delighted. We understood we were going to be in the playoffs. Uh, Bethune Cookman has had a great year. They're a better team than they were a year ago. They've been nationally ranked the whole season. Uh, their defense is one of the best in the country. They've always been effective moving the ball. They've got some good athletes. It's going to be a great football game. I mean, we got our work cut out for us. You had a playoff run last year. A lot of guys returning from that. How much does their experience in the playoffs help? I think the fact that you have some experience in the playoffs because uh, it is a little different level. You said in there, 103 of the 127 teams in the FCS are no longer playing games. There's 24 left. That's going to go. That's going to start to shrink pretty quickly. But remember, Bethune Cookman's also been in the playoffs. They were part of the playoffs a year ago too, so they're going to have that experience. We had to go on the road last year to go to their place. They got to go on the road this time. Uh, so they're going to they're going to be ready for the game. Certainly, they're going to be ready for the game. But so that experience is a plus. But but our opponents have that plus too. Coach, looking at the board in the field of 24, how deep a run can you make? I don't know. I do know this. If we don't beat Bethune Cookman, we're going to make a game of, we're going to make a run of one. If we do beat Bethune Cookman, we got an opportunity to get a run of two. So everything's got to be predicated upon what we do this Saturday. Two straight, go ahead. Go ahead. Two straight years in the playoffs. So how, how, I mean, that, that's an accomplishment, win or lose. How exciting is that? I'm very excited. We're proud of that. You know, we're proud of the fact that we won our league twice, uh, two and two years in a row. We're proud of the fact that we're representing our school in the playoffs two years in a row. But it's important for us to do well in the playoffs. So we want to I mean, we need a good showing this Saturday. What is going to be your message going into practice week this week? I think, number one, everybody understands that the FCS playoffs. Everybody understands that. We've earned that right. We've had a great season. The season is behind us. The season gave us the right to get here. Uh, uh, and, now, and now we've got to earn our ability to penetrate the playoffs by playing other teams that, that are really, really, really good football teams. We understand that. We know that. And I have no doubt we'll be focused on that right away. What do you know about this year's Bethune-Cookman team? I know that they've got one of the best defenses in the country, and I know they've always been effective moving the ball on offense, and they've been sound special teams. They're a good football team. I don't know a lot more detail than that because we didn't know who we were going to play until a little while ago, and we haven't had a chance to look at them on film yet. Jamie, how are the players adjusting following the loss to the game times? Uh, you know, it's an ups anytime you lose, it's, you're going to be down and out. Uh, and even on Sunday, you're going to be a little down and out. But on Sunday, you usually get rid of it. And we got to focus on Bethune. I think that's going to uh, pump up the team a little bit uh, to know that we're playing in the first round of the playoffs on Saturday. At home. At home. So even better. 
Was there anything that came out of that loss to South Carolina? Maybe that did they expose something that a weakness that maybe you weren't quite aware of before? Something that you can use as a, as a, a way to improve going into the playoffs? Uh, I don't think they exposed any weakness that we weren't quite aware of. I believe we turned the ball over too much. Um, our defense has struggled at times during the uh, the year, but we knew that going into the game. Uh, we moved the ball on them in the first half, and uh, we just we just didn't execute in times we needed to execute. Um, and we've done that throughout the year too at, at certain points. So uh, as far as them exposing a weakness that hasn't already been exposed, no, I don't think they did. But uh, they were the better football team, and uh, they came out on top, and congrats to them. All right, now that you're playing on the FCS level the rest of the way, can you make it all the way to Frisco, or how deep can this team go in the playoffs? Uh, you know, I really just don't – I can't give you a straight-up answer um, because, you know, we don't, we don't even have Bethune-Cookman film, much less Montana film. So, uh, I watched Bethune this week, and I'll, I'll be able to tell you whether we can beat them or not. Um, and then if we can beat them, I'll tell you next week whether we can beat the team we're playing next week. So, Two straight years in the playoffs, how exciting is that? That's really exciting. I mean, the program's on an up, uprise, and uh, coach, everything Coach Mowgli has done for the program is phenomenal. So he's a great guy, great coach, and uh, appreciate everything he's done for me and the team and the program.